Hello everyone, welcome back for another video set. This set is going to be an example of using central store management scheme for a tiny shopping cart. Okay, so we are going to make use of the knowledge that we gained from the previous set. Now, in the previous video tutorial, we have introduced you guys about using data store. Okay, centrally here. And now we are going to say imagine we want to create an app that allow user to add shopping um product into shopping cart okay so i'm going to say this is going to be my um basket and my basket now imagine that i have um one item let's say um customer order food so let's put id1 name equal to food one and price equal to 10, QTY equal to 2. Okay, so now we added, uh, we just added the new variable centrally here. Okay, now my intention is to show how many food orders are there in this basket. Okay, so I'm going to show it as the button so that user can click on it to see detail. Okay, this is my plan. So we go back to hello world here and then we introduce, okay, let me make the com comment here from the previous um, layout. So now we start from scratch, stack layout. Then we put um, a button. And that button supposed to show just a static tag first. So let's say tag one. And it's going to have horizontal alignment alignment equal to right and size now let me start it here and also let me introduce the class declaration for button one so let's put button one with the font size equal to 20 color equal to blue color and margins equal to 10 for example and then we introduce this right here class of button 1 okay and as you can see now it show 1 if I change it to be 10 it's going to show you guys um, 10 Okay, but my intention is to show how many objects are there in this basket. Now, if you recall from my previous example, to have access to this variable here, we start with dollar size store dot stage dot the name of this variable, which is basket. So let's put basket. Now we want to see size of it, so we put length. But again, if you want to access to the variable value, the value of this variable here, you cannot simply put it this way because this is static text. You have to buy it with dynamic text. So put colon here, save it. As you can see, it show one. Okay, which is what I want. Now um, we are going to show you the list view over here that contain the food item that you can order from it. And when user click on each item, it's going to add it into the cart. Okay, so how to do this? Well, I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.